something really special and new. Maybe you never even thought about it, not to mention try it. Uh, I stumbled upon it just randomly a couple of years ago, and I would always kind of dismiss it because I wanted to learn so many other things. But lately, I've been trying it a lot, and I realized it's like actually very good, but very complex. So I'm just gonna keep it very basic and just try to show you a little bit and not go too much into detail. Also, you can use the key for this, but I'm prepared to leave it out first because with all the grips, the sleeve, the lapel, it gets even more complicated. So I'm just gonna show you the basic idea of having grips without the key. And as for the theory, this is like, for example, when you get to a normal back mount, you don't always finish with the choker or armbar, you just lose it a lot, right? Even if you know jiu-jitsu, even if it's a good position. And it's the same with this one. You start doing it, you're probably going to mess up a lot. Yeah? But the different thing with this is, once you get good at it, when your training partners see what you're doing, then they defend, then you learn to attack better and keep yourself pushing up. Then it gets a strong position and other people that are not in your gym, they will not know what this is. So you will have like kind of an advantage. Yeah? And one more thing, it also depends on the body type. If you cannot close your legs around the guy, then it gets less of a control position, but you can still use it for attack. I was even not thinking to teach it here, but recently I had it uh, in a competition and it worked. So I was like, okay, it's time to teach it. So um, let's, I don't know, need the partner, maybe. Yeah. There are like a lot of ways to enter it, but there are like two main things. Like, can you sit down? One, for example, just an example, for a, from a path, a double ender. And instead of passing, I just get up a little, go like this. That's the position, basically. It's, it looks really funny, it looks kind of ridiculous, but honestly, I don't know how to escape this. Like, try to do something. It's like, it's not even hard for me. I'm just chilling here. It's, I don't know. I like submissions and everything, but this position is just like, the great thing about it is that it's very strong. And it's the only thing like, that high-level competitors hate is when they can't move. Like, when you look at high-level matches, they never keep each other for a long time. They, they can't. But if this happens, they get really nervous. And then you can start the attack. And only when you start the attacks, that's where he can get out and everything. Huh? And you have to, like, you can be efficient. Like, first, hold him tight here and hold him less tight with your legs. Then when your arms get tired, hold him tight with your legs and hold him less tight here. And that way, you can be very efficient. And even if both gets a lot really tired, then you can do something like this and completely relax this leg. Then you go back. You know, that way you can hold him for a very long time. In my match, I even, the guy met like an extreme case. I had it from the other position, like when I sprawl him. And you go for a takedown, like when I sprawl him. Like a bad sprawl. A good sprawl would be like this or like this. But that's what I call a bad sprawl because he can basically still take me down. But not if I go for this. Same thing. Yeah, land like this. Uh, like, try to stay on top. Don't, don't let me uh, turn you around. Like, just have some, some posture. Yeah. Just need to defend the leg. And this happened. And of course, the, the guy was kind of a good wrestler, so he stood up with me. Okay, you don't. I mean, can you do it? If you don't, you don't have to. Yeah. Exactly. And I was hanging like this for maybe like a minute or two. And, and I was surprised how easy it was. It was really easy. Yeah, and then at some point, of course, if he stays like wide with his legs, like far apart, like you put your legs a little bit, yeah, then it's easy for me to keep it. But if he keeps them together, it starts shaking, then slowly go down. But there's another thing from Wim the Footer, it's called Mermaid. And this is like an inverted Mermaid cat. I just slide down and close it here. And then he falls again. And I get to this, for example, which is also a really nice control position. You can chill here. Breathe, relax, he cannot get, it's really hard for him to get out. Even if he kicks, I'm always coming back. Yeah, and once I'm ready, once I took a break, I open my legs and get up a little, and then just continue further. So I hope I didn't confuse you too much. You can try this, just the, the entry, right? For example, another one, it's uh, me the close guard. Another way of entering this, and, and you just cannot get out because people tell you always there's ways to open close guard. Yes, there is, but if the guy really doesn't want it and he doesn't want to attack, he just holds you. It's almost impossible to get out of close guard, but with this one, you usually get out. You have to keep his chest down. With the belt, that's great. Without the belt, do something like this. With both hands, so you don't get armbar, and not too far. Then you shift your 
base a little. Take your leg. Now you, your leg and your arm are basically taking over the job of pushing it down. Because if I don't do this, he will just come up and mount me. I need to push him down. And I switch my base to here. And do the same here. Now it's like really easy to open almost any guy. You can attack legs all the time. But you can also keep going here. Yeah? And if you want to get to the initial position, you can just pull him up. Oops, sorry. You okay? oh, no problem. Sorry, sorry. That's okay. Yeah, you need to be careful because you don't see what's going on. So be careful not to hit him in the face with heel. Sorry, man. It was just the elbow. Yeah. And, go up. and try to have a gable grip here and a normal close guard. That's like the strongest control. There are a few, a few submissions, a few, a lot of things you can do, but let's just try the entry. Like from the sprawl and from the open guard and maybe from the tying if you want. Just play around a little and try how it feels and also let the guy, once you are in the position, uh, let the guy try to, try to escape and you just see how it is to keep him there. Yeah? And if you have a fit, strong guy, let him take you up in the air. It's really interesting. <laughs> okay, let's go. I can sprawl again. If, I, if he takes one, I really need to take care to, to get rid of his arms. Like if he has my leg and goes for the takedown, he will eventually get it. Because a, that's why that's called a bad sprawl. So you need to really make sure he doesn't have my leg. You have to really go out and then quickly attack him. Like, look, I'm pushing his arm away. You can also do this just to make sure. And then later add the other leg. Yeah? Just like this, or like this, or eventually the other one. It's like all ways of how to control it. Yeah? And the other thing. Like when I have him do this, I do this. Sometimes, depending on what I want to attack, I will have to get one arm in here. But be very careful with this, because if I do this too much, I'm getting triangle oh, arm. Yeah, so just, if you just keep that in mind. Don't stick your hand in too deep, then you're fine. Yeah. There are a few interesting attacks for the legs here. You can, for example, do something like this. Yeah, and just, it's not even like, you can turn it into a leg lock, but it's like painful for his body. Yeah. It's like, you can just try out a little either. Like, yeah, First, you try. Um, this is what happened in the competition. I crushed his ribs. Like, if you can lock your legs like this, or maybe lock them like this, and not too deep, like as high up as possible, and then go sideways. Like, don't be behind him. Don't be on top of him. Be like really sideways. And now just squeeze. It's like very brutal for the ribs. But if you're smaller, if you can close the like the. the a body triangle, just try it like this. It can still work, but only if you like pull him really hard. And also this muscle here, you can, sometimes you catch the leg like this and just pull, <laughs> right? It, it hurts like here. Yeah. It's like a really interesting kind of submission. Like you can try it on yourself a little like this, and then you start turning back and you get like a lot of pain. Here. You do it again from the sprawl. So I'm here. Yeah, from here it's very, Interesting, you can just like, pull the foot out, and try something like this, and slowly go down and, oops, okay? Yeah. And even if he, like, he scrambles, whatever happens, like, try to do something. Like, it's very complex. Look, take his arm, but be careful, yeah, this happens often. What I want is, this here, this would be ideal, but sometimes this happens and, this is not bad, man. I have a crucifix. You know, I can attack, I can look for a triangle here, but I have to be careful for the knee bar counters as I showed. Yeah, so you just stay here. But, um, should I say, the first two moves you, you should attack is like triangles, like inverted triangles. For example, the back. So I'm here. So let, my, let my leg go through on the other side. Yeah. No, no, just, just stay like in a normal, in a normal position, just or maybe go back to the. <laughs> Just go back to the beginning something. And just turn him. And I'm in the basic position here. Mm. Keep your head always close to your uh, to his head. Either here or here. You go back and forth, and that's how your attacks also start. You need to get one arm first, like for example, like this. And then get the leg here. Don't leave it like this, leave it like really close. This is a little harder for me because I have long legs. There's always space here, so I have to really be tight. But once I get one arm, for example, look, you can try this and just keep it here and go to the other side. And keep him down, try to stay here. 
I need to fight his arm here until you get the leg in, like this. This, you can just keep trying. And once you have this, this is like, how should I say, the icing on the cake. This is like, you know when Marcelo Garcia gets the back of a guy and puts one arm behind, puts the other arm behind and then chokes him? It's like the lowest percentage move, but you should always, when you train, try this one because that makes you learn the position the best. Yeah, so you go here and can do like a neck train. This is like the, the final move. If you can pull this one up, then you know the position really well. It's just for a competition, I wouldn't uh, tell you to try this one because it's obviously the hardest one. You need to catch one arm, catch the other arm, and then do the submission. But for learning the submission, uh, for learning this position, this is like perfect. Yeah? So let's just do it one more time so you can try it. Yeah? Here, go in, take my leg first, me, take the other leg, and I go sideways. Close it here. I mean, now he already, I can already do it right away, but just try to keep your hands like a little bit together. Like, defend a little bit, yeah. I need to be tight here and slowly lose, use my legs, use my, everything that I have to get one leg in here. Yeah, well, once I have this, you really, his, this arm is here still defending. I keep this one tight, close him over, and now I try to slowly get this arm in. Yeah, now I cross my legs and I have to keep his shoulders if I'm like this, and he might get out, I have to really be close to him and cross my legs really tight. Get my other arm out. Right here. And I'll just pull a little on the end of his head. Like, not the neck, but just at the end. You know, like here. And he, that, that's the thing that um, Sakuraba means the Yurika moment, but I don't know what it means. It's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try this a couple of times, and then I'm going to show how to get to the inverted triangles. There's like one secret little armbar that sometimes hits there and the spine manipulation thing also. So when it comes to the spine manipulation, it's like you crush his ribs like in this area here, not in this. Yeah, you just squeeze, it's like a close guard crush. It's just stronger because here it's like not strong, but if I go up, it's like very painful for him and I'm also doing this to his body by just pulling. That, that gets like, exposes his ribs, and then when I crush them at that moment, it's like very painful. And also like, you can do it backwards, you know, like, make him do this, but flexible people can take this, but another one that's stronger, and you go sideways, do this, for example, do something like this. This is like, can completely break his spine, it's like, or make you go to the, uh, you know, the, the physiotherapy. Don't. <laughs> it's like it's almost like a knee bar. Yeah. You can try those things, and you can play around by yourself, like the one that I showed before. This is the strongest version. If you can get this, it's like this thigh gets really stretched. But sometimes, depending on his flexibility level, this is enough. When you put him like this, for it, you just pull back. It can be enough, but not for a flexible guy. If you need if you have a flexible guy, you have to have his leg like this. Have it here and then start pulling. And yeah, try this a couple of times. And one more little thing. Uh, when I'm here, and you know that he keeps his arms a little bit together, so I can't really attack the, the triangles and all that shit. But eventually, he wants to get rid of me, and he might stick like one arm in here. This happens sometimes. There's like, I call this the uh, inverted close guard armbar. Go to the side, look, and now you have to lock your legs and it's like a very strong armbar. And it's so easy, nobody knows this. They're like, what is he doing? And they're like, oh shit. Because I have like a lock here that's like blocking. I don't even need both hands, it's like really easy. But it's not the thing you, you hunt for. It's like, when you see it happen, then you're like, oh, his arm is coming, okay. It's not like you try to look for it, it's just, it happens. Because, like in that competition where I was, the guy was standing and was always trying to push me down, but he was careful. Like when he put his hand in and I grabbed his hand, he was like, oh shit. <laughs> so some people are clever, they know it, but most people don't. So let's try this. Try the, the, the thigh ripper thing, spine. Like you can manipulate the spine like this or like sideways. Yeah? And the arm bar, okay? Let's go. So everybody gets a little bit. <laughs> try it. <laughs> Um, now this one is like the more realistic thing, the triangles. You need to get like in one and then don't try to get this one, just try to control them. And just go sideways and go for the triangle, it's pretty basic. 
but it's strong because you already have the like the strong one. Like only the triangle is good, but if you do this with the triangle, it's like super strong. You're pulling him in, you know, and crushing him and squeezing for the choke. Yeah, and like for example, like he doesn't allow me to get it here. Okay, then I go over there. Then I start the same game again. I, I give him the other arm back, but while I give him this arm, yeah, you want, don't want to take it? Yeah, exactly. Once you get it out, I just try to keep attacking <laughs> here again and do the same on the other side. Yeah. Need to always control his arms as good as you can. If you don't have the arms, then you have this. But once you get the arms, you just keep them. Because when you have the arms, it's like same control. You don't need any more this. If you have this, and you can move him around and even make your angle even stronger. And now to this again, and it's very powerful. No? You okay? Can you show the entry again? Can you show the entry? Oh, yeah. Slowly. Oops. Sideways. Now I just look which arm I can get. Of course, it's easier if I can get this one. But maybe he does a mistake and I just, you know, I cannot get this one, but I get the other one. Okay, then it means I need to go on the other side. I can also try this. It's also strong. Yeah. Or I stay there, move on the other side, keep his other arm so he cannot turn around because if I don't have good control, he will just know the other direction to me. Yeah, and I lose it. That, that's really bullshit then. Because he ends up inside mode. So I have to control him. I have to control the other arm. And then just get the leg over. Yeah, that's basically good. Yeah. So I guess you probably want to see it, right? And then the easy one is when you manage this right away, yeah. you just get the arm like over here, and it's like natural already. And if you don't get this one, keep this arm. You can also, for example, look, you can do like a kimura type of control and just work your legs around till you get this arm here. Yeah, like this. Or even this one. You can decide what, what is better for your flexibility. Like the lower one, this one, some people cannot do. It's like too much getting the leg up. So it's easier to get this one. Yeah, it's easy for me. <laughs> but if you have like this one, and for some reason maybe he's blocking here, I cannot get up. Okay, then go over there and do the same again. Yeah, and then you just squeeze here and push. Yeah? So let's try this. What often happens, like here you're safe for controlling, on the side you're better for attacking, but you're also close to losing it. Yeah, like when I go like this, and then sideways, for example. Yeah, exactly, it tries to turn to me. I need to keep him there. I need to always try to stay behind him, unless I'm really already almost submitting him. Then it's fine to be sideways. And how you do this? Like, look, you move slow, like you, you need to move like up or down and you do this by, you know, slowly exchanging. Like my arms move him and then my legs fall off. And then my arms fall off and I can like slowly, you know, go around or maybe go back. It's like, just the how, look, now he happened to put his arm in. I already have this. Like he tries to defend and by going crazy, he messes up by himself. But you need to know how you use your arms and your legs. Like, to slowly move. Yeah, you keep. Once you open your legs to move, you need to be super tight with the arms. And once you close your legs again, you can start moving with your arms. Like, you can use the gi. Yeah. I can do the same, but with my legs. It's like very confusing for me. And whenever I want, for example, to catch this arm here, I'm like, okay, fuck it. I go for something else, which is also very good. That's the complex thing with this position. There's so many options. You can attack both legs, like go back. You can go for this position or like, okay, I forget it. I just go for the legs. Yeah, I can go for something else, whatever I want. That's what makes it like really interesting. You can attack like 100% and he can only defend. Like there's no counter, counter attack he can do unless I give the position up and go for the submission. And one thing that can happen, like, can we get it? Let's drop. So I mess up, I take him like this and he stays on top and 
I end up in this position. This is also, it is a little bit more well known than my position. It's called, I call it the inverted close guard. But as long as your legs are closed, you're fine. Only if you open, he can get out of it and actually go to north, south or pass. Yeah? So go back. So when I'm here, don't try to, you can try to sweep him, like get one leg up and this, but it's like not really great. Yeah, it's a lot of work, especially if he's heavy, maybe you cannot sweep him. Try to just get back to your initial, initial position. Go here and slowly get back to what you had before. Yeah, and then you can continue attacking. It's the only thing you need to be aware of. Don't, don't let him get on top of you and open your legs. As long as you have him, you can always get back to it slowly. Yeah? So that's all. Maybe just try this a little bit. How, to, how it is like to move completely around the guy with your grip and to throw him around. Just play around with this a little bit. Only once you go to like armbar trying or something, then he can start to react and get out of it. As long as you hold him, it's like your decision. You can attack arms, neck, legs, and he can only defend. It's like very interesting. Normally, side mount, full mount, back mount, you always can counter. Like when you from the back mount, just to get that arm in, you can like grab it and do the armbar or. There's always submission counters, but for this one, I don't know one yet. So I guess if people try doing this for the next couple of years, they will find out. It's like a new position and they will start to counter it. But I don't know any yet, so probably nobody knows. So at the moment, this position is pretty interesting. So, yeah. There's a little weakness, but the thing is, my legs are crossed and they are right here. And my legs are in the way for your arms, so you kind of have to Toes me like this, which is really hard. Like maybe if you are like I don't know, twice my weight and very strong, maybe you can do it. Uh, only if I like, I'm, if I relax and just like attack and complete, then you can do it like quickly, you know, like this or like this. But if I'm like a little flexed, then you shouldn't be able because you can barely get in even here. You have to work there, and I can always just open and you know completely open and just hold with my hands and then do it again. And the thing is, I can attack the legs better because I, I have you in this and can go for toe holes, for, I don't know, straight, with everything you can, you want, basically. Yeah, so this would be like, if there's a weakness, do the slight weaknesses, toes, but it's like very hard to attack the foot. Yeah, so, anything else? Yeah, I guess I would just advise you to try it and keep practicing and just experimenting. It's like totally new. And the more you try it, the better it gets and you will surprise people a lot with it. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.